This is a tube of pure ultra white Vaseline petroleum jelly. And there's not really a whole lot noteworthy about it. But there is one thing. It's a question. When was it made? seem like a simple question, almost a stupid question, but the more I look at it, the more I want an answer. First off, let's look at the packaging. As we can see right here, it's made by a company called Covidine. Don't make any jokes. <laughs> what is Covidine? Well, hold on. For all intents and purposes, it was an Irish healthcare company. They made medical devices. They were founded in 2007, and in 2015, they went away. So this Vaseline, that's right, Vaseline, is made by Covidine. Covidine was defunct by 2015. So that means that this cannot be... So does that mean that this cannot be newer than 2015? Let's do a little more digging. We can see a copyright. 2012 Covidine, made in USA. Well, that's a pretty good key point. A copyright. So that means that this cannot be older than 2012. If it was, the copyright would not have any standing because it's it's in the future which you I don't think you can really do that but here's the thing have you ever seen a McDonald's packaging or something and the copyright seems to be like two years off that could be the case of this and it could have been manufactured with a copyright date that was different regardless it cannot be older than 2012 I'm just seeing something here the Covidine brand name is still used on pro uh, is still used on products. Now there isn't a source for that, but I'm willing to bet that that's decently true, and I think that's interesting. For instance, take the Zellers that I went to in 2016. That was technically not a Zellers. It said it was a Zellers, but technically it wasn't. It was an HBC and home outfitters? Home outfitters. It was a home outfitters and HBC liquidation center. But it said Zellers. They had Zellers bags, Zellers shopping carts. They even had Zellers uniforms. For all intents and purposes, it kind of was a Zellers. And for all intents and purposes, this is probably a Covidine product. So it may actually be made outside of 2015. The company that keeps this all together is, of course, Unilever, which is a very, very big company. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> so we're kind of at a bit of a crossroads. We know that the product is not made before 2012, but we don't really know when it stopped. I got this Vaseline in around early to mid-2019, so about April. So, is it possible that this was still being produced? This exact one? Let me look at something. Right here we have some uh, Vaseline, and it seems to look the exact same, pretty much. Of course, I don't know really too much of a date. Interesting. I have seen this design as well. Now I'm kind of wondering what this... <laughs> this is like a kind of a different kind of Vaseline. 
I guess it's like a travel size, but it doesn't have the Vaseline logo, but it does say Vaseline trademark. So we can't go off of the packaging. That's not really a reliable source. There is one more date on this though. And that comes in the expiration date, right here. It says, use by, and then you flip it around, 2024-01-09. I'm assuming the 01 is January and the 09 is the ninth day of January. So that, to this day, is less than three years away. When I would have gotten this, that would have been less than five years. So that's interesting. So this product, so obviously lubricant does not really expire very quickly. I mean, I don't really know why it would, but this doesn't really help us a whole ton because it's just kind of telling us when it ends. It doesn't tell us when it starts. Especially since the copyright's 2012. Do you really think this is from 2012? We can't judge it off of Covidine, because they're still making Covidine products even though the company doesn't exist. But there is one last thing we can do. And that will come in the hands how long does Vaseline last? Vaseline has an amazing shelf life, and the product does not physically degrade over large periods of time, almost four to six years. The indicated product shelf life on the OTC label states three years under specified storage conditions. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure if that gives us a definitive answer. And this is from Quora, so somebody just answered it. They could, they could, no, they could not. But, if we're going by four to six years, the exp expiration date is 2024, then that would be 2018. It could be either 2018 or 2020. Now, I know it's not 2020, because I got this in 2019. So, it's actually possible that this Vaseline was made around the time when I got it. Technically, Vaseline is sold with a best buy date of about three years, which means it does expire. It's hard to say, obviously. Three years, that would make it 2021. That would make it this year. And this was not gotten this year. Because I started using this, and no, it's not for the thing you're thinking about. I started using this last year. So who really knows for certain? What I do know is that the product is not from 2012. And it isn't from 2015. Chances are, this Vaseline is from 2019. Something that I wasn't actually really expecting. To close out this video, uh, I would say, you wouldn't really expect this, would you? But there's a lot of kind of things you have to put together to really kind of understand a basic timeline of when it could have been made. And that's just, and this is an estimate, this is judging by when the manufacturer thinks this will expire or go bad. It is, however, possible, it says use by. Ah, no, actually, I no, not because it, it doesn't matter if you open it. There's not really a whole lot else I have to say, except, uh, gee, I really don't know how to end this video. Ah, uh, alright, uh, I'll see you guys in another, in it, I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching, and it is pretty crazy that companies can just kind of keep living on even though they don't even exist. It's just the packaging will keep getting rolled out and nobody will even notice. And people will just assume that this company, Covidy, is still in operation. When in actuality, it isn't. That's interesting.
that's something good to think about. You! Oh, jeez. Oh, I almost did a backflip. Oh, yeah.